For the first time at Greater Nevada Field and in the Pacific Coast League, a human umpire isn't calling balls and strikes this season. The, the technology that, that MLB installed is called Hawkeye, and it involves eight, eight cameras around the, the venue, as well as a closet full of extremely powerful uh, computer equipment. That equipment um, for those eight cameras is registering the, the pitch every pitch and it's taking those readings, it's sending it to New York, which is sending it back to the umpire's ear all within about a quarter second to register that call. The automated balls and strikes technology was first tested in an independent ball league in 2019, then in some lower levels of minor league baseball last season, before making its way to AAA ball this year. We all know that a batter strike zone is based on their height and their stance. All the players are listed by height and then it's percentages of their height. So 27% of their height is the low barrier of the strike zone, and then 52.5% of their height is the high barrier of the strike zone. And so that's automatically inputted into the computer every batter as they turn so that that height is set. And then the width is the width. Is the width. That, doesn't, that doesn't change from batter to batter. Each team has a tablet in the dugout, registering each pitch and how the ABS system called it. Players and coaches can challenge pitches. The feedback is then sent to the MLB. I've had, what, three starts with it now, I think. Um, and I actually heard last night there was like a recalibration mid-game because I think it was off a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of interesting because there were a couple pitches, you know, where the four of us, the hitter included, the umpire, catcher, and pitcher, like all kind of looked at each other and were like, interesting, okay. Like we all disagreed on, you know, what the call was. Um, but that happens. That's part of it. You know, it's not a perfect thing. It's obviously very new. Roughly three weeks into the PCL using ABS, Reno Aces manager Gil Velasquez believes it's a good development tool and forces pitchers to throw strikes, although it's been adjustment for all, including umpires. I do see like during the game where they anticipate a strike and they're kind of popping up to call it a strike and then they, don't, they call it a ball. You know, that's the human, the natural instinct of the human that he, he sees it a strike and it's, he's being told it's a ball. I mean, that's kind of what I see, but it happens more, than, more often than, than you think. But that just lets me know that there's pitches that the umpire thinks are strikes. Aces catcher Grayson Griner was once taught to frame his pitches for borderline calls. Now, that's a thing of the past. It loosens your mind up with runners on base. Our main point now, our main focus is blocking balls and, and throwing runners out. So, um, yeah, definitely, it definitely takes away the receiving aspect of the game. Yet, Griner adds, they still practice framing up pitches for when they get called up to the big leagues. When I throw the ball back to them, I'll see them chuckling sometimes because they've seen, they've seen a catcher catch a ball like that for 10, 12 years in pro ball in college, and it's been called a strike, and now it's a ball. So they kind of... I don't know if it's a frustrated chuckle or if it's a they're just laughing it off. Left-hander Tommy Henry says his approach hasn't changed because you want to be consistently throwing strikes. Yet it'll help guys who have the ability to strike out the corners. At times the zone does feel small mm -hmm. um, or you, you don't have the ability to earn an expansion mm -hmm. uh, with an umpire. Uh, so I think that having the confidence of attacking the white of the plate um, I think that's probably the biggest adjustment is knowing that you've got to trust it. And that's honestly an adjustment that personally I needed to make. And, you know, pitchers that had that doubt before this needed to make with a human umpire as well. A more even playing field on both sides of the ball. Hitters don't have to take into account an umpire strike zone that day. You don't feel like you're fighting against, you know, an umpire's big zone or if he has some sort of prejudice against you. It's something in the past maybe. You'll have an argument. So... Um, at this point, a strike's a strike and a ball's a ball. I think that side of it, from both a hitter's perspective and a pitcher's perspective, it feels like, you know, if, if I got beat, it was probably my fault. Strike three called on the outside corner, 95 on that fastball. You, you can't argue from the dugout with the umpires. The hitters don't argue with the umpires. The pitchers don't argue with the umpires. Um, you know, and I, I guess I missed that part, you know. I, I guess I, that, that takes away the passion of the game at times. It's actually been sort of funny for season ticket holders to tap people on the shoulder and sorry that you don't need to heckle them anymore. They're not making that call. Um, so that is that to me is the best part of it is it's not inhibiting or impacting the fan experience at all. 
For Nevada Sportsnet, I'm Shannon Kelly.